Hey everybody, this is a SX Gunworks Hammer Shotgun 12 gauge. SX Gunworks is a brand of a hardware store in the 1930s in, in, uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. These guns were made for them by Crescent Gun Company from Connecticut. Anyway, so this has come in in an absolute terrible state. Um, that's all broken out. Uh, that's mold or dry rot or something. We'll see when we get in there. I haven't scratched yet. Um, stock is cracked there. It's broken. Somebody put a, a nail in there. There seems to be a crack right over there along the bottom end of the wood. Um, same on that side. There's a crack through there and again a nail or a pin one seems to be coming out there other than that it's it's all good it's tight on the face the bores are surprisingly shiny it's got like brown rust patina all over it but nothing too serious some pits there's some pits over there so the guy just wants it to kind of look authentic it's certainly serviceable depending on what i can sort out over here those that don't know why you don't get side locks anymore side lock has got essentially got four fingers since you get those two fingers over there and those two fingers over there so if i can illustrate it like that and then this actual side lock is that part and every time you shoot this gun wants to self-destruct these fingers want to open up what i'll do is and depending when i get in there you need to bridge these two over on the inside with a piece of reinforcing so you'll mull in a little slot and put in some threaded bar that holds that together and maybe the same over there we'll see when we uh, when we when we get into it um kind of double barrels have been taken over by the box lock where the stock ends flat and the lock work is in the actual action and that ends flat and the two interact on that face so it's just pushing the, the actions pushing back on the stock rather than splitting the stock on the on the box locks and that's why bo box locks uh, kind of took over the shotgun world and in, uh, in double gun barrels are good they ring like a church bell so there's no loose ribs or anything like that the action on these they they were originally uh case hardened and if you pull back on the hammer you can still see some of the case hardening under the hammer anyway i uh i cooked off all the metal the barrels are supposed to be black and and, and the trigger guard so i kind of uh put some rust bluing on the trigger guard cooked it off and i put some um some rust bluing on the uh on the barrels i didn't really intend to to re to re-blue them all i wanted to do was kind of create the contrast between the the supposedly um case hardened and the and the black uh, and the black barrels it is an interesting um it's an interesting shotgun everybody or anybody who knows side lock shotguns they make extensive use of of leaf springs so you'll have a You'll have a leaf spring over there that that operates, or well, probably that sits like that that operates that that lever. Um, you'll have a leaf spring over there that normally sits over there that works the hammer, and uh, and you've got another little leaf spring that works the uh, the sear. Now this company went to extreme not to to have any leaf springs, and if I can show you that that's the lock so they've got a uh, a coil spring that operates the hammer and uh, they've got a wire spring that operates the sear yeah. another wire spring that operates um that part the woodwork on this thing was absolutely terrible um these side by side side lock shotgun you essentially got the four fingers that sit like that there's the one finger another finger finger and finger 
and they they want to move apart they the action so if you look at that doll's head there that it that's what kind of takes the recoil and transfers it and then under the trigger guard there's a screw and then there's another screw under the uh under the the the, the lever and that's what soaks up the recoil and if those screws are not tight or they're not bedded properly um the whole thing moves back and and it breaks so of the four fingers if i can call them that only this finger the left top finger was in one piece the action was eating into those fingers because those uh, screws were loose so if you got a double barrel shotgun make sure those screws are tight i kind of worked in the epoxy into the cracks hydraulically and uh, you know got got all of that sound and and tightened up and i uh, patched in those cracks over there with uh, with the epoxy and uh, and over there and I made the epoxy black so it looks like the wood grain just looks like wood grain when you, you know, blind man won't see that it's epoxy. I uh, I cut that groove in um, over there and, uh, and then I made a, out of a stainless steel bolt, I made a, a gusset or a reinforcement and that just like slots into that groove that I made and then that groove was filled up with the same epoxy that I, I, I used to to pull the four fingers together so that's giving it structure uh, that's tying it up across um, across that area pulling pulling those two together and stopping this from moving apart anyway that's it and then uh, put on a new uh, sanded in a new butt plate I was fortunate to find uh, the correct butt plate it cost a whole forty dollars delivered so i mean it's not cheap but anyway it is uh, the right butt plate any shotgun like this if you've worked on them the important bit is when you when you're going to um, test them is only load one barrel put a shell in one in the one barrel but cock both hammers and then uh, you know fire um, fire only the barrel that's got a a shell in and make sure that that hammer hangs you know that it doesn't run forward and then when you um, do it again you um, load the other barrel and again cock both hammers and fire the other one and make sure that hammer stays back so that you don't get two uh, two shots that run at the same time and uh, all of that just you know kicks like a mule in and uh, aggravates the uh, the the pressure or the um the stress that's on the stock anyway guys i hope you uh, enjoyed that stay safe we'll talk again bye